James Stewart was born at Linlithgow Palace on April 10, 1512. He was the third son of King James IV of Scotland and wife Margaret Tudor. He became king at just 17 months old when his father was killed at the Battle of Flodden on September 9, 1513. James was crowned King of Scotland in the Chapel Royale at Stirling Castle on September 21, 1513. Scotland was ruled by a series of regents until James came to adulthood. Among them, his mother, Margaret Tudor, and then John Stuart, 2nd Duke of Albany. James said goodbye to his childhood at the age of 12. God save King James V. In 1525, Archibald Douglas, 6th Earl of Angus, the young king's stepfather, took custody of James and virtually held him prisoner for three years, exercising power on his behalf. Several attempts were made to free the young king, yet all fell short. James finally escaped from Angus's care in 1528 and assumed the reins of government for himself. The first action James took as king was to remove Angus from the scene. He then subdued the border rebels and the chiefs of the Western Isles. James shed the shackles of his brief and oppressive childhood and showed the world that he was now a true king of Scotland. As early as August 1517, a clause of the Treaty of Rouen provided that if the alliance between France and Scotland was to be maintained, James should have a French royal bride. James met this obligation by marrying Madeleine of Valois, the daughter of King Francis I, in Notre Dame Cathedral. Madeleine died of consumption two months later as her poor health was common knowledge prior to the wedding. James then married the daughter of Duc d'Orléans, Mary of Guise, re-securing an alliance with France. According to legend, James was nicknamed King of the Commons, as he was sometimes travel around Scotland disguised as a common man. James was also a keen lute player. In 1562, Sir Thomas Wood reported that James had a singular good ear and could sing that he had never seen before. James also attracted the attention of international authors. The French poet Pierre de Ronsard, who had been a page of Madeleine of Valois, offered unqualified praise. His royal bearing and vigorous pursuit of virtue, of honor and of love's war, the sweetness and strength illuminate his face as if he were the child of Venus and Mars. The death of James's mother, Margaret Tudor, in 1541, removed any incentive for peace with England and war broke out. Initially, the Scots won a victory at the Battle of Haddon Rig in August 1542, until King Henry VIII of England invaded Scotland. James had hoped to invade England, however, he returned to Edinburgh, on the way writing a letter in French to his wife mentioning that he had three days of illness. The next month, his army suffered a serious defeat at the Battle of Solway Moss. James took ill shortly after the battle. By some accounts, this was a nervous collapse caused by the defeat. He may have died from grief, although some historians consider that it may have just been an ordinary fever. John Knox later describes his final moments in life. Before he died, he is reported to have said, It began with a girl, and it will end with a girl. Historians believe he was referring to the first Stuart monarch accession to the throne through Marjorie Bruce, daughter of Robert the Bruce, and that his newborn daughter Mary would be the last of the Stuart monarchs. King James died on December 14, 1542. He was 30 years old. <laughs>